So nootropic peptides are going to be kind of the favorites away from more of a nootropic supplement. There's a lot of supplements out there, alpha GPC, huperzine, phosphatidyl serine. There's going to be a lot of different nutrients in these nootropics to stimulate cognitive function or neurological function. The ones that I like peptide wise is actually dhexa. Dhexa, I always call it the natural Adderall. You can take 2 milligrams, 5 milligrams, 10 milligrams. It kind of depends. It's oral. You can do injections as well, but I like the oral one. Typically start people with a 5 milligram, and it'll have sustained energy. It's not going to be like an Adderall that's actually going to increase um, neurological function where your focus attention, but having the pharmaceutical and all the side effects, you're actually just going to increase it more subtly. You'll feel the effects. It's just going to be a little bit more subtle. In combination, I've been doing NAD once a week via IV anywhere from 400 milligrams to 600 milligrams. Interesting with NAD, with neurological function, it's actually going to increase GABA in the brain. So I always say it, it makes me feel a little bit more calm, cool, collected. That one's great, but it decreases your dopamine threshold as well. So meaning dopamine, you're on social media, you scroll through, you get a thousand likes, you get a thousand new followers, whatever it is, your dopamine actually increases. The threshold, just like anything else, it takes you a little bit more to get stimulated. It actually decreases that. So how I normally experience it is you wake up in the morning, you start dancing in the shower, you start playing with your dogs, you start playing with your kids. It's, it's a little bit more sustained energy because you're just happier, easier, uh, if that makes sense. So try out any for sure. Other peptides that I normally like as well for nootropics is going to be C-Max. There's PE2228. There's pineal on, that's actually gonna stimulate the pineal gland in the brain. There's cerebral lysine as well, that's gonna increase neurotransmitters in the brain. So if you wanna do a little bit more research on those specific peptides, check out those videos below and uh, subscribe below.